My name is Makita Smith. I am 56 years old. I'm a publicist and I pole dance. I started pole dancing about six years ago. I had no intentions to pole dance. I was going through a really tumultuous period in my life. I had literally lost everything. House, car, man, dog, you name it, I had lost it. One day I was walking and there was this woman being photographed doing splits. And something about her, she just exuded this fabulous energy. I thought this woman was in her 50s. She was in her mid-70s. She told me the secret to youth was that she started taking yoga in her 40s. I was 50 at the time, so I decided I needed to find a practice. A couple of weeks later, I found a coupon for pole dancing, and I figured, what the heck, let me go try it. And I fell in love in the first class. I didn't think about anything outside of that room and that pole. I didn't think about all the drama that was going on in my life. Pole dancing just lifted me out of that reality and took me into another reality. It was very healing. Um, I posted my first picture on Facebook because I just felt so empowered. I had learned how to invert and I had learned how to climb a pole, which was to me the most amazing feats ever. I eventually got more comfortable and more relaxed with posting. I started posting pictures, I started posting dance vignettes, and I, I felt so in love with pole dancing, I just wanted to share it. So I just kept posting on social media and it just kind of took off. One day out the blue, one of the editors of Pole World News sent me an email and asked me to blog. I called my oldest daughter in New York and told her that a magazine had invited me to start a column. And she said, well, Mom, now you've got to start a pole blog. And that's how Flying Over 50 was born. And I got followers and I started posting every day. And I'm getting all this love. So about a year later, one of my videos went viral. And it went viral in a really bad way. 300,000 views, 2,000 shares, negative comments, people making jokes. It, it really went crazy. But it really almost crushed me and it hurt my heart. Okay. Try not to do the thumbnail. I just addressed all the, all the media outlets. I tagged them and I started posting videos. I started creating hashtags, say no to ageism, say no to sexism, say no to body shaming. Granny on the pole, granny got moves. Bet you wish your granny was hot like me. <laughs> and I just started having fun with it. Work. This one hour is dedicated to you and your body. After posting on social media, so many women have contacted me via private messages or comments under my post, thanking me for not bowing down, thanking me for, for being vocal and visible. You got that? Pole dancing saved my life. I could, I could almost cry here. Because I was at such a low period in my life. I just feel like if I went through that and I survived, I, I want to share that with other women. So I've started teaching flying over 50 flow movement. It's targeted toward older women, but all women are welcome. So we just do yoga inspired movement, but it's very rhythmic and it's very meditative. Good, good. Now reach back and reach your left. Pole dancing's got me feeling like a superwoman. It's giving me my mojo back. It's giving me my femininity back. One of my hashtags is movement matters and pole dancing taught me that movement matters. And we can walk away because we didn't get that traffic. Oh well, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like that?